Welcome back to another fantastic day of Overwatch. Today we have the University of Hartford versus Gettysburg College. Yeah. And it is sure to be an absolutely fantastic one. Once again, it is your casting duo, Peter and... Eric Culver, a.k.a. Adam. Twitch.tv slash Eric Culver. Twitter slash Eric Culver. YouTube.com slash at Eric Culver. Instagram at Eric Culver. Um pretty poggers and the tumbler will be coming soon uh but for the meantime we have a an exciting match from my eyes uh quite an exciting match in my eyes um however i i don't have a stream up right now it seems like there's been a couple delays uh yes so i've been informed that gettysburg was just warming up during the uh, the start of this match well i say during the start of the match when the match should have been starting Gettysburg was warming up, which is really strange as, like, a professional organization such as Gettysburg. But, uh, you know, not everybody can be the Boston Uprising. No, they can't be as professional as probably the most professional of all organizations. Uh, but whenever the game does start, we will be getting straight into it. Um, but for right now, let's talk a little bit about, um, I guess we can talk about the lineup for the people actually inside the lobby. Uh, U-Heart today. Uh, we don't have a lot of the scheduling conflicts that we've had on other days, right? Seems like we have a full roster. Yeah, to to my knowledge, looks like we've got all of our players. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we've got the two tanks of True Blade and Super Vader. We've uh, and Dusty as well, and we have the damage of Nift and Become Based, as well as Cranky and Orimuru, and our support lines of Blackout and Come Galaxy with the Revan and Lucky subs when needed. Um, I have a really good feeling about how this game's going to go. Uh, this is going to be one of the first times we've seen like our full five-man squad playing, like our, our, our top-notch five-man squad playing at the same time. And I, I, I'm looking forward to see how it goes. Absolutely, and I'm super excited as well, once again, to see the, the DPS duo that we've been following for a long time and enjoying quite a lot, Nift and Become Base, playing alongside Blackout and Combalaxy. I feel like the synergy overall has just been increasing and increasing, um, and I mean, obviously, I'm going to give a shout out to all five, Trueblade16, I'm also excited to see his progress. Had some fun playing ranked earlier today, uh, tragic events occurred, sadly, on the SR front, but... This is the time to make it up right here because this is the actual stage. This is the real gameplay that we're going that we're they're here in practice for. So SR doesn't matter, ego doesn't matter right here, and all that matters on this server is going to be putting numbers up on the board and winning this game up against Gettysburg. Really, really exciting. For sure. And our first map is going to be Li Zhang Tower. Uh, we have an R coming out from Uhart, just waiting on Gettysburg. Surprise, surprise. Sorry, I'm throwing shade. Um, Looks like the stream has just officially gone live. Just got the notification. Um, and speaking of, I've had a weird... Um, something weird has happened to... I don't know if it's Overwatch or my OBS. But uh, for some reason, my Discord overlay is appearing on uh, on my screen... On my, uh, my game capture. Which, um, that's happened like once or twice before. But then, like, un undoes itself hmm that's interesting uh i don't exactly know the technical support that we could do to try and solve that uh it's odd though i think that that's happened to me once or twice before and it just kind of like you said just kind of went away uh but as we're sitting here and i'm looking at the stream i do have the opportunity to see all the other teams or all the other members of the team in and ready to go so perhaps we play a little bit of name game uh, yeah, might as well go through uh, Gettysburg's list. We've got Magic Penguin, Evster, Thobes, Springy, and Scott. Those are all pretty uh, pretty pronounceable names. Only one I'm a little unsure about. Would you say Thobes? That, that feels wrong. I would go with Phoebes, actually. Th that's an O, right? Yeah, but you spell Phoebes with an O as well. Obviously, you have the conjugated uh, vowels what? there with the O-E, but... What is Phoebe's? Phoebe? Like a person named Phoebe or like Phoebe... Oh, Bridgers. with an F? No, with a P-H? P well, an F sound. Um, well, yeah. Oh, it looks like we have Wait, an addition. Okay. What's Adam, up? What is going on with the spectating? 
I have no idea. They just said, "Are you guys whitelisted?" What the fuck are they talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me go look. Hold on, I'm not smart. Can you figure this shit out? I'm looking. I'm. I do believe we have some technical issues at the time. Um, so, uh, with him trying to rule book us, I am going to look at his career profile and roast him. Plat. Cringe. Plat. <laughs> cringe. Gold! Gold! Cringe! Oh, oh but but you show ten minutes late and then rule book us for having a fucking streamer. What is this shit? It's incredibly funny. You know, funny. Speak, also... speaking of the rule book, I, uh, am interested in, uh, the late penalty. Adam. What's up? Uh, are you you're are you in the Nace Discord? Not the Star League one, but like the Nace one. Um, or... let me check. Yeah, yeah, I'm in both of them. If you go down to competitions, um, in that category, there's a there's a Nace Star League whitelist. White yeah. And I don't know if that is what they're talking about. I haven't. I thought it was like if you were like officially casting things um... and like marketing it as like official Nace broadcast. But I'm I don't know if... I didn't really look into it. I'm going to read through it right now. Um, many programs rely on the ability to stream matches where the programs grow with student uh, Our stream, streaming whitelist will allow programs to properly market broadcasts in addition to schedule students and staff without fear of having stream permission declined. Requirements. Uh, looks like they've just said fucking throw it out the window, so... Poggers! Poggers! I no longer have any issues... Okay, well... And there were never any problems ever again. Okay, well, have a good stream. Thank bye you, bye. thank you. Thank you very much, good luck in your game. Alright, uh, now that we have some of the stream issues over and done with, uh, sounds like we're gonna be going in, starting off on Li Zhang here between U Heart Red and Gettysburg College. Uh, really excited to, to see how this goes, but we should return to the name game, at least a sign of victor here. Um, any conclusion on Thobes? Thobes, Thebes, how are we feeling? Uh, I definitely don't think it's Thebes, because there is no E. Phoebe, that is fair. Phoebe is fair. has the E. So, I'm going to go with uh, Thobes. No, 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 Thobes. I like Thobes better. Um, And with us pronouncing it Thobes, I actually very much enjoy the names on the side of Gettysburg. Um, we do have some classics. Uh, you have short names, one words, two to three syllables. The longest one being Magic Penguin. The misspelling of Magic obviously is an irritant. However, for the first time in a very long time, I am going to have to give it up here to Gettysburg College for the name game victory here. Simply because of the True Blade 16, when it comes to the fact that you have the five starters uh, having the numbers in, uh, when you compare the numbers at the end compared to just one misspelled in a Magic Penguin, I think it easily goes to Gettysburg Address. And hopefully they can use that um, thing that they've never heard about before. So give them momentum in the first round here as we start off on uh, Control Center. Absolutely. Going to be getting here with perspective of the Zarya of True Blade. Um, and it looks like we're going to see a Zarya matchup with the Lucio uh, and Sojourns. But a bit of variation between the Flex Support and the Second Damage. So we've got yeah. the Reaper on the side of Gettysburg and the Moira. Whereas Hartford is opting to run the Genji and the Baptiste. Um, I would have to say... I think I prefer, with the current patch, I prefer the uh, the comp that Hartford is running. Um, Genji, as we know, is really dominant in the meta right now. Um, his damage, uh, he has really high burst potential. Um, on top of that, Baptiste, I think, just um, in organized play, gets a little more value than the Moira does. Uh, Moira finding a lot of her value in the ranked uh, playstyle just by uh, being pretty damage-oriented. But uh, Baptiste, on the other hand, can really mix in his damage and his uh, healing pretty effectively. Now we see the Overclock coming out from Hartford, and the Dragon Blade also killed, I believe, two or three. A uh, lot of ults got invested in that fight. Hartford held control the entire time. That was a fantastic uh, outcome for Hartford. That's exactly what they wanted. Uh, absolutely, that was a, a really, really incredible outcome. Honestly, uh, True Blade 16, living life on the edge, they're really relying on that Baptiste. And like you were saying, the Moira compared to the Baptiste, the Moira is much more a sustain, a longer um, time to heal, as compared to the more burst heals, but still a deep well of possible heals from the Baptiste. 
and you definitely saw the value of that, and especially being linked with your Kambalaxy, or your Baptiste, played by Kambalaxy, as the grab comes out here from the Zarya. There's a massive grab on. Five. And you will notice, they, uh... Gettysburg ended up listening to us, apparently, and making their own swap from the Moira over to the Baptiste. Um, oh, and Nift with a great headshot. Uh, nice and clean the, and simple. Taking out the Reaper. Um, and and that, that headshot was really necessary. Yeah, with with the Reaper out of the fight, Gettysburg is forced just to fall back and uh, do their best. Oh! Genji getting taken very low. Grav comes out. Zarya's 1 HP, but she's getting healed up by the Baptiste for Gettysburg. Uh, sound barrier from Blackout manages to keep everyone alive, and they're all just barely, oops, all just barely holding on right now. Um, as the Genji manages to trade for the Lucios, Nift and the Moi coming or the uh, base coming out with their ultimates. Oh, what a crucial <laughs> shot onto that Sojourn! And now it's just Azaria versus Baptiste, and Lucio comes in, cleans up the kill. Is there Lucio going to touch? Not quite. The sound barrier comes in, but just a little too late as Hartford takes round number one of Li Zhang Tower. That was incredibly beautiful. Um, that, was, that was an incredible instance of like fighting when down and winning the fight off of key ultimates, key play styles. The disengagement from Nift on the Sojourn there and being able to kite away from the Reaper long enough to build up a rail that's going to be able to kill. And then, I mean, the flick headshot onto that Sojourn approaching from Coast was absolutely destruction. Um, but that was a really, really good point hold, whilst not always being on the point, but still maintaining point progress the entire time. Yuhart did a very, very good job on that control center. And that's going to be 1-0 on Li Zhang for the University of Hartford. Ending our second map here, I don't exactly remember the name. And that, that's a little cringe. Do you remind me? Uh, this would be Li Zhang Day Market. Um, as some people have liked to call it, seeing as it's no longer nighttime, although I believe uh, it might just be called, uh, I don't know if it's called Market now, or if it's just still Night Market, uh, but... I think it would, Day Market's pretty funny, so... I, I find it quite minute. humorous, um, but as we're talking about that, um, Gettysburg opts to run a Symmetra strategy, where they just teleport through the window, which we saw a lot of during Overwatch 1, it's Blackout finds two kills during that fight, and... Both headshots. <laughs> All that remains, well, nobody remains anymore, as Hartford <laughs> takes control of the point without a single loss. And uh, aside from the Lucio situation, uh, all five players of Hartford are at an ultimate advantage. And we see Scott, the tank player for Gettysburg, opts to switch over to the Reinhardt, which I find quite interesting. They're going to be looking to play a lot faster, utilize just quick high burst potential with the uh, the Reinhardt oh. and the Lucio speed. But or can you oh. outburst Nift as he already gets two headshots pushing onto Coast with his overclock. Oh first one coming my. naturally in the third being a body shot to a jumping Baptiste. That's going to be an easy cleanup off of a poor rotation. Well, not even a poor rotation, but dominance from Nift and being able to capitalize on some people rotating faster than others. Uh, that was a really solid play from the University of Hartford. Uh, and the Sojourn there only using one ultimate to shut down and gain maybe 20% on the point. Absolutely. And uh, honestly, from what I heard from Nift, I feel like Gettysburg showing up late to this match really, uh, you know, put a little Thor in his, in his mood and he's just wants this over with. He wants to bully them out of this match. Ooh, and so does become base as the blade oh, but comes he gets out. Taken out. Doesn't get any, but they're incredibly low. Still, Reaper come out. And Nift comes in and Oh shit! He sees? Oh, and a uh, pause I, is called. I shouldn't have pause? paused mid fight, but what? Uh, I don't know exactly. Um, seems like we got a pause call from Nift. Uh, had to type it manually during the fight. Um, and you should have finished off the fight, I believe, based off of and uh and uh, sorry, Nace rules, but. If the pause was absolutely necessary, it did seem like the fight was going the way of uh, University of Hartford. Whose PC froze? That's going to be the question on everybody's mind here uh, during this match. Uh, and we'll definitely be able to figure that out as soon as possible and come right back with the action my, right here. My guess University is it's Hartford going to have been come Galaxy, um, seeing as he's in the, uh, the gaming facility. Um... We know some of those computers have had some issues in the past. Um, mm. 
and gosh, it, it pains me. Uh, you know, so much got invested into those computers just for random, like, I don't even know what causes it. I don't know if you I do. believe it's a chipset error on number eight, which might be the one that he's currently standing on, or sorry, uh, currently sitting at. Uh, but we are going to get an R from both teams, and even though this pause is coming in halfway through the fight, there is a chance that Gettysburg is able to retake it, uh, and we should be heading back in in a second to see the conclusion of this, as Gettysburg actually did flip the point. I didn't even notice. Um, so with both teams ready to go, we're going to come back here, and I think it's only a Ryan on the point against Alucio and Nif on the Sojourn. Oh, there is a Baptiste, but he goes down almost immediately. A turret slightly in the way of the Sojourn, but Sojourn's going to focus on this Reinhardt. And in a 2v1 situation, Reinhardt only has a one directional shield. However, he does bide his time well enough for people to come back. And Lucio comes back and is hunting down this Sojourn. The, uh, the Lucio on the side of uh, University of Hartford goes down as well as Nift on the Sojourn. As they are able to pretty much defend here off and, of the back of that Reinhardt. And uh, we, clutching out of time. Yeah, and we see a swap actually coming out from Gettysburg over to this Kiriko, which um, we've seen a ton of played in the Overwatch League. I'm really looking forward to see, um, you know, how they make use of the character's utility. Yeah, and play styles between Overwatch League and ranked games from our perspectives have been very interesting. You see a lot more of an aggressive Kiriko style out of uh, people playing in the Overwatch League, probably due to a skill gap difference. But when it comes to here, they're playing rather far back like a Zenyatta, waiting and biding their time until they're able to actually find purchase. Uh, maybe a headshot or two, but that wall is going to force out the window from the Baptiste on the side of Uhart and uh, deny their push for a couple seconds. And we see a, a trade of ultimates there. Two ults for one, um, favoring the side of Hartford as uh, Gettysburg takes a finds a pick onto Nift with a headshot from that gear go. Um, and it seems like Hartford's just going to you know take a second and wait for their Sojourn to return. Uh, True Blade on the side of Hartford has their Graviton in hand and really looking forward to see what he does with it he might opt to combo it with the sojourn uh but oh he goes in and he just he's getting pounded by these symmetra turrets taking an insane amount of damage but it's still alive somehow comes out with the overclock trying to duel the uh kiriko but kiriko finds another headshot onto him oh and these sim turrets are just not being dealt with as gettysburg takes uh, round number two. Wow, and they're going to equalize it here. We're sending into the third map here on uh, Li Zhang, and that was an incredible round by on the side of Gettysburg. Uh, really just using their ultimates uh, pretty frivolously, but still having great success in the neutral game, potentially over uh, due to some over-pushing or some under-pushing as well. I think that Trueblade 16 holding on to the grab there uh, and then going in so deep with it the fight later... Uh, could have been a large reason as to why it nearly 40 seconds go off the clock based off of only one pick. Um, University of Hartford is definitely going to have to oscillate their speed of fights a little bit if they're going to want to find a little bit more success here. Yeah, certainly. But, you know, I, th I think they're still probably feeling um, pretty confident. I think they, they heard some reports about their Gettysburg's match results, and... <laughs> the Kiriko seem to have down. a little issue with the teleport, but they've managed to get through. Um, and honestly, I'm a big fan of the comp that Gettysburg is choosing to play here, where they just bunker on this point, and they just don't let anyone come in here. It really, relies, it really relies on Hartford just to take their time and find picks, which, knowing the DPS line, excuse me, of Nift and become based, it's entirely possible. You see True Blade here running in really aggressive, bringing the Symmetra really low and takes him out. Fantastic work by True Blade. Absolutely, and it's a Chad Ryan style that uh, to defeat you really do need to actually have a good um, main tank on the side of your team, able to at least apply some, uh, additional damage. Uh, as the pick comes out early, but you can see that the stall here is incredibly long from the Reinhardt, but once he finally goes down, it really opens things up as Become Base is able to pull out that blade, catch one, maybe look for another, but at the very least secure a cap on the side of University of Hartford. They're definitely going to have to keep on just bursting this Rhine shield down so he just has no no bastion, no safe haven for him on this map, and that's going to be their key to success. Absolutely, but, you know, a uh, couple oh, ultimates okay. coming online. We're going to have the Sojourn ult. Oh, a split teleport. As a... Uh, <laughs> they just take two out before this fight really even begins. Half of 
uh, Gettysburg tried to... Oh, what was Sniff doing? I think he thought he had a slide back on cooldown, but he just got bullied by this Reinhardt. Uh, the Reinhardt's dangerously low. Reinhardt's brought really low, as you said, but oh, another teleport by the Symmetra. Uh, you see the Sim over here. Oh, Kirko, uh, uh, Kitsune Rush comes out by magic, but Sniff <laughs> takes him out out of nowhere. Well, they do let flip, however, and that's going to be slightly problematic as two more go down, and this is going to be staggers, uh, as University Hartford does lose the point control. Nift, the only one that remains for Hartford, but they've got a couple ultimates coming into this next fight. So we're looking at a grav window and a sound barrier on the side of Hartford, whereas, um, excuse me, Gettysburg is looking at a beat, a window, or sorry, a, a symmetric wall and an earth shatter of their own. Um, as a fan of Reinhardt, I'm really looking forward to see how he opts into using this. It's going to be important for Trueblade to hold on to one of his bubbles to try to block his shatter. Because without that, they don't have any way of surviving this. Absolutely, and uh, the the concentration on the point here, that, that is all they have to do when you're playing the Ryan style. Is you just get to sit on point, put up shield every once in a while, make sure that you have it full for when a fight actually breaks out. But University of Hartford is the one that controls the tempo. They decide when they go in, and that's going to be right now as the beat comes out. Compa they come base going straight into the back line, getting a kill immediately, finding two more. But Combalti does go down, and the Baptiste being down could be problematic as the Reinhardt is still alive. The Lucio, however, taken down finally, and the Reinhardt is the only one. And that's going to be University of Hartford being able to flip the point back over after a very solid push, as I was describing why their push wasn't going well. Uh, it's about speed. It's about going in at the right time, and... I guess they bited and uh, saw something that maybe I didn't and uh, capitalized at the right time. I really love the strategy that Hartford just used. They took a second, they waited for their sound barrier to be, um, like, they waited to have all their cooldowns ready, and they just amped speed with the sound barrier, and they just blasted through the Reinhardt. The Reinhardt had no chance to really find a good Earth Shatter he was looking for. Nif, though, brought pretty low here, but oh, he finds the headshot onto Springy of the Sojourn. Uh, Oh, but Everest, uh, what number is he? Here we go. Takes out three, four, I believe that was a four person uh, overclock as we get the An spray. An incredibly large one. That was really well played there. And now ultimates, I think all we're looking at is going to be the Kitsune Rush by Magic Penguin here on the Kiriko. Yeah, and there's going to be nothing on the side of the University of Hartford, so they're going to have to play incredibly uh, smart. They used the beat last time to survive, pushing straight past that Reinhardt into the back line. They're going to be pushing from white again. They don't have that benefit on their side this time. They are going to be playing a little bit faster as they creep closer to the door than they previously got. Uh, definitely an interesting position for them to be in, but this Kasune rush is going to be very problematic. Oh, as Trueblade has already brought low. He pushes in way too aggressively without the help of his team, and he gets taken out, and there's only 5% left here. They have the Kitsune Rush still online. Reinhardt's going to be able to swing like a madman. Oh, and Rush there's comes the Kitsune out. Rush. The last second touch get this touch. In. Lucio just trying to poke out this uh, this Kiriko. Reinhardt just come online, though. swing like a madman. Ults going everywhere right now. Hartford, both support ults come out. Both of Gettysburg ults come out, too. Magic Penguin finds a pick onto Kim Galaxy. Nift, all that remains is Penguin takes him out. And... Hartford going down 0 to 1 versus Gettysburg. Yeah, and that was a very interesting first map there. The Reinhardt played very, very well, uh, especially with the Symmetra being able to beam down and provide so much extra damage. But Evster on the side of uh, Gettysburg College, as we'll see in this play of the game, did real work when it came to this uh, overclock here, fighting four kills in a single fight, many more throughout the rest of the match. And those were very pivotal to just the flow of the game overall. Um, and that was a very, very well-played performance by the DPS of Evster um, and Springy on the side of Gettysburg. Very, very interesting performance. And one that is um, likely to continue to bring them success. Um, University of Hartford faltering a little bit when it came to pushing um, and keeping their main tank alive. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to see a matchup uh, playing out throughout the rest of this game today between Nift and Evster, as we see here. Evster... Uh, currently Masters 4, uh, which is really impressive. Uh, Diamond last season, um, just a solid DPS. Nift on our own side, um, who seemed to struggle a little uh, during that last match, um, has made it all the way up to uh, GM2, peaking at top 82 in uh, North America. Um, but 
I'm not sure if it was a map issue, a uh, just a team space issue or what, but uh, Nift really struggled in the matchup to, uh, during Li Zhang. Absolutely. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he out over, uh, overcomes and adapts to this changing situation as you will always continue with this style of play. I believe it's a Swiss bracket in Nay Star League in which you just continue to play stronger and stronger opponents until we get to that fateful uh, playoff run. Um, they're only going to have an uphill battle from here. Uh, and this game is really evidence of that uh, problem. Well, you could say problem. You could also say that it's a benefit as you're going to be able to learn a lot more from playing these stronger teams. And Gettysburg is proving to be that stronger team. Um, so I wonder how University Hartford is going to deal with it. It seems like there's probably going to be a couple subs here. Uh, as we do have the inside baseball of being able to see into their Discord and see the changes that they are making when it comes to their VCs that they're in. Once again, the University of Hartford not playing in their typical um, Gamer Dome. Uh, their home turf is no longer, or is sadly not available uh, today. So a lot of the players playing from home, playing from around the university, uh, and wherever they could possibly find an internet connection and a suitable PC to be running Overwatch to. Uh, absolutely. Um, and looks like we're asking for a swap between Super Vader and True Blade. Uh, really looking forward to see how Super Vader can, uh, you know, get things done during this map. Yeah, and getting it done is going to be very important as University of Hartford currently 0-1 uh, in this match so far. Uh, obviously, we do know that the University of Hartford is very good at, at the very least, understanding their momentum and... Um, understanding their mental headspace throughout matches hopefully they're able to bring it back um and make sure that this next map in some way stems the tide of of loss uh, whether that's just sick performances well-placed um fights just a simple one thing or another thing uh that can happen just those small instances could be the real big difference makers uh, going forward in this match, and hopefully University of Hartford is able to not only notice those situations and opportunities as they come, but seize them as well. Um, Alright, and as we said, a couple swaps came out. Uh, Blackout did get traded for Revan on the support line. Um, so it looks like we're going to be having Super Vader and Revan with Come Galaxy, Nift, and Become Based from round number one. Hmm, okay. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, a slightly different roster coming out here from the University of Hartford. Interesting to see how they'll play on Paraiso. Uh, a lot of Monkey has been played recently, not only in the Overwatch League, but also within the scrims of the University of Hartford. Not the same patch as Overwatch League, however. So we'll definitely see what university is going or sorry what the university of hartford is going to be bringing out on this map and uh, i'm expecting a little bit of dive a little bit of fast play hopefully off of this uh cringe zarya that has been plaguing not only my ranked games but a lot of the professional play that we've seen the collegiate scene that we've been watching here at twitch.tv slash air culver so excited to see the results of this match absolutely <coughs> excuse me uh with super vader in this roster i'm really expecting them to either lean into the Winston or the Diva. Um, he's known to pull out both of them. So, uh, Super Vader's, you know, the, he, he is a really solid Winston. You, uh, Hartford tends to rely on him um, on these more open maps, such as Periso, or we've seen him on uh, Route 66 come out a lot, too. Absolutely, those higher maps, those maps that have a lot of good high grounds and uh, positions that need to be taken uh, if you're ever going to make any amount of progress. Uh, the University of Hartford definitely utilizes uh, those diver char more divey characters when it comes to Super Vader, uh, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how that goes as we are now heading in to uh, Paraiso. Going in, smile. Going in, smile. You smiling? How's your day going? My day... My day went quite splendid. And after this, I'm looking forward to watching even more Overwatch during the Overwatch League broadcast. Um, I know I watched the Dallas Fuel take on the Hangzhou Spark in a, I believe it was a pretty clean 3-1 situation where 
the Dallas Fuel managed to take them down on uh, Esperanza, of all maps. Yeah, and that was a really, really fun map. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, push again on this game because we do have, or well, hopefully we see push in this game. Uh, I've been enjoying watching a lot of push, and it irritated me last day um, to see that there was going to be so much uh, 3-0s and literally zero push maps the entire day. Uh, but it was great to see a little bit of push on the uh, Dallas versus Spark game. Hopefully we're able to see some today. Um, and out of all the push maps, there's three available. Which one's your favorite so far? Uh, my favorite so far, I think most people tend to prefer the uh, new one of Esperanza. Uh, although, I haven't had too much of a complaint with uh, Coliseo myself. I've been enjoying Coliseo. I think that the the, <laughs> the bottom of the barrel options currently for me are definitely New Queen Street. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we don't see that one. Kind of a tried and true one and, and seen quite a lot in Overwatch League. But uh, we're going to see Gettysburg running real quick here as they get immediately onto the point playing a diva comp with a uh is that a uh, sorry a reaper uh very interesting as they're probably going to be trying to counter this winston on the side of super vader as nift is brought incredibly low and taken out by evster once again taken down uh and the diva is incredibly low but that's gonna be another pick by evster's slow grenade a third one straight onto the head of the winston disconnected from his heels as it's gonna be a very tough position the university of hartford has put in as they're pretty much gonna lose all of this first point instantly off of one fight yeah, and, that uh, was well, immediately the second. That was really well done by Upster, and I think uh, two big things I noticed from that fight. Um, number one, uh, the healing from Hartford really seemed to be uh, spread thin. I'm not sure whether it was just they were forced to like hard focus the healing into Super Vader on the Diva because he's playing really aggressive as he just dives straight into Upster, trying to just I don't know maybe like one v four or something. Um, Absolutely, the University of Hartford, the uh, rest of the team just was not there to back up any of the type of push of that caliber um, and just creates a 4v4 situation. Now the mech and D.Va was taken out by Nift and become based, meaning that it is equal, but without that tank there and with the tank coming back so quickly on the side of Gettysburg College, we really are just going to seed space. University of Hartford is just going to have to give it up uh, and Super Vader is finally back, but you can't gain that space back. Not without Absolutely. winning a couple yeah. fights, as uh, you see a headshot out from them. Two ultimates come out on the side of Uhart, um, and they you see them opting to actually stagger out this D.Va. Uh, this Cump Alexi just goes ahead and finishes them. Uh, I would have loved to see the D.Va get staggered a little bit more, but even even that extra like five seconds they got out was uh, enough to you know take some time off the clock. As I mentioned briefly at the start of that uh, or end of that fight. Two ultimates were used on the side of Hartford, so they're at a bit of an ultimate disadvantage. They're going to have the nano, they're going to have the self-destruct, and oh, become base gets taken out early and Revan barely manages to survive as well. Yeah, Thobes just able to body shot the Genji from far away. Evster pulling up and just killing the Convalexy, sorry, the Ana on the side of the University of Hartford. A bomb, however, as the DMAC comes out from Super Vader on the D.Va, does catch the Reaper on the side of Gettysburg. Uh, and Nift is able to find the, um, the Lucio as well. That D.Va being incredibly low with the Kiriko not healing up their D.Va currently means that University of Hartford is going to be able to push back up here, get two more picks, leaving the D.Va completely by herself just to get out. Uh, and that was a really, really good um, repush there from the University of Hartford. Even Absolutely. though they were low on numbers, they were still able to pull it out. Oh, does he get this Reaper? Oh, he gets him and he Ooh. barely manages to escape with his life as well. Fantastic stagger coming out from Become Based, just forcing them into trickling a little bit. And now, checking out this ultimate situation, um, this would be a little scary on the side of Hartford. They're really hoping, probably, that Become Based manages to build this blade before this next fight fully breaks out. A big slow field coming out from Evster as he has the ultimate charged, but all of his teammates have the ultimate charged. I'm curious how they're going to have to use them. Absolutely, and here's the blade coming out. Hopefully he's able to get the nano as he goes straight through. Become base slicing into the back line, getting rid of that beat on two of the characters, able to find another with the help of Super Vader. Uh, and that's going to be the Lucio and the uh, Sojourn down as Nift on the Sojourn of University of Hartford is able to take out the Reaper. And that's going to be pushing the Gettysburg College all the way back. Kiriko's so low, and so is that D.Va. This could be an incredible stagger. They get her out of mech, 
She does make it around the corner, however, saving her own life and potentially the, the viability of the team to continue pushing as another minute is waning and off the clock. And uh, on top of that, very on top of that, Hartford only used the Nanoblade during that fight and managed to trade it out for the Sound Barrier and the Death Blossom on the side of uh, Gettysburg. So they are managing right. to balance out this ultimate economy just a little bit. Epster still holding on to the ultimate and Magic Penguin holding on to the Kitsune Rush of their own. Um, oh, struggling <laughs> a little bit with his slide there. Uh, he, wishes, well, he wishes he was a little bit taller. He wishes he was a baller. But he does have the overclock and uh, he's calling on Nift as Nift goes oh, up in the air. Oh, and he doesn't find the pig! Low. Oh, and he gets anti the... Uh, Cleanse coming out from his teammates Kiriko, uh, but Magic Penguin is, uh, sorry, still holding on to his ultimate here, and he's just getting harassed by Become Based and Revan over here on the Lucio and the Genji. That's just pure ca chaos. Two Lucios trying to do it out. They get a m crucial pick onto the mech of the Diva. They're just gonna stagger this Diva out, as she's probably gonna be forced to go into spawn and swap back and forth. Uh, and that's not going to be as much of an alt deficit as uh, previous games. Uh, remember that the university... Oops, sorry, actually, actually, it's not going to matter at all because they're not stopping back to Diva. They're going on to the Winston. That's... I'm a little surprised to see that. And now, Genji getting brought a little low. And, oh, he gets taken out. That's pretty crucial. They were going to have the Nano Blade for this fight. Um, and this very well may be the last fight of this point if they are successful. Wow, Super Vader going incredibly deep. He just... Turbos straight into the back line. And now we That's see the ultimate the coming out uh, by Magic Penguin. Kitsune Rush just trying to find some shots. Oh, Revan trying to hold onto his ultimate. Oh, sorry. Blade coming out by Become Based. Looking to make some magic happen, but Magic oh, is the on the one. other team. <laughs> and looks like Hartford is maybe preparing actually to come in for a recontest fight. And they that's exactly what's barrier. gonna happen as the beat comes out. Coming Did in. it go onto the Diva though? Nano High Noon. Diva eats the entire thing. Nift pulls out the ultimate. And there's a huge anti onto the point as well. The Winston and the Cassidy. Oh, are going and down. he takes out Epster. And he takes Woo. out Thobes. Diva, uh, or sorry, Winston finished off at the end. And that was phenomenal play by Nift. And that was just a fantastic second point hold. They crumbled during the first fight. Uh, and I. I believe, did Super Vader start on the Winston? I think that he did, yes, he started off on the Winston. Um... And then swapped to the D.Va. So I believe, with the help of that D.Va swap coming out from Super Vader, um, the rest of the team pulled it together, and they defended on second point for a full five and a half minutes. That was really impressive uh, from the side of the University of Hartford. Yeah, and it was also absolutely necessary for them to get a little bit more purchase, and that was exactly what I was trying to allude to, uh, even though I did a poor job of it in between the games, uh, was the University of Hartford just needing a little bit of a momentum switch, not just going all the way, but just a little bit at a time. And after a good first round like that, the University of Hartford is in a poised position to attack very strong here and finish off what they've started, uh, only needing to go halfway through second point here. That was a really, really solid defense by the University of Hartford. Uh, tried to go to your stream to see what he was playing earlier, but uh, 90 seconds away obviously doesn't go far that back that far. But it does seem like Super Vader is going to be opting to not play the monkey at the start here and go with the Diva. And honestly, after seeing um, how the Diva versus the Winston has fared for Super Vader and the side of the University of Hartford during their past few matches, I think this is a really smart decision. Uh, they found a lot of success when Super Vader has been running this D.Va, and I think um, they're going to find that same success during this next Absolutely. Map. And uh, University of Hartford not moving as fast as Gettysburg did, opting to actually dive on the targets here, but there's going to be a Symmetra, and those turrets are going to be a little bit of a surprise to the Super Vader as he's going to back out immediately. The D.Va disengaging from that high ground as, uh, yeah, those Symmetra turrets can burn, especially when you can't exactly either uh, negate or mitigate any of that damage, oh, but Nift is going to find a headshot, though. Nift. Taking out uh, Evster, uh, you know, it's really impressive. Kind of looking like uh, Shy in the matchup versus uh, Edison in the most recent Overwatch League game between uh, the Spark 
and the fuel and... absolutely but definitely not cleaning as fast as they do however as i say that nip is going to find two quick shots uh both from his left and, oh, his and right he takes click. him out again and they're on the right click Wow, I think, you know, I think Nift might have heard the trash talk coming out from Burnwolf in the Twitch chat. And he was like, let me put this Masters player in his place. I am the better Sojourn, and I'm going to show you why. Absolutely. However, knowing Nift personally, we know that it's not a lot about ego. It's more about just not allowing the other team to win. Uh, that winning strategy has just been their main focus day in, day out. Just making sure that whoever they're playing against knows that they're just, they're just there to win and do whatever it takes to get there. And that's what they're doing right now is University of Hartford pulling it back here and unlocking the second part of this map here. And the last part, since we didn't go all the way to third point. And we're seeing a couple ultimates coming online already for the side of University of Hartford. We noticed Scott made the switch over to the uh, the Zarya, which I'm not sure if I uh, fully support that decision. Um, Diva Bomb comes out. Oh, breaks only the immortality field. Uh, I think it may be, you may just want to fall back and reset if you're on the side of Hartford. You're going to have Absolutely, this nanoblade, as, uh, we're getting instead, deeper. you're going much deeper. You have the nanoblade already fully charged at this point. Um, you're really just building, oh, as Niv takes out Epstar in the middle of my sentence. They're going to have this nanoblade. They aren't, they aren't going to have the overclock on the side of Gettysburg to try and defend. Oh, and they take out Magic Ooh. Penguin. And they take out so uh, blah, 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 Symmetra, Symmetra. sorry. We don't see Zarya. it very often, so we don't remember the name. That's okay. Taken down. Nift pulls out three with his ultimate. Uh, just maybe gonna find... Doesn't quite see the Sojourn hiding behind that corner. Oh, Peeks has out now. The rail. And now just a couple meters away. Two, one. Are they gonna be able to touch? Oh, wait. There's someone... Oh, they go for a, oh, TP. a sim teleporter onto the point. Become based. Pulls out the Dragon Blade. Finds one. Finds two. As Hartford, and the decks of the turrets. <laughs> as Hartford cleanly finishes off uh, map number two of game seven, or rather uh, match number seven in our NACE season. Oh, I also uh, just saw that for the first time. Perry Iso having a very, very nice ending screen there where all the, the winning side is uh, standing in front of in front of that gondola. Very nice and definitely fits with the aesthetic of the map as we're going to see the play of the game here being the Genji Blade pulled up at the last second. I guess those turrets also counting as kills uh, for that play of the game as uh, there was a lot of action to go around, not even on the side of University of Hartford, but overall, once again, Efster doing a fantastic job on the side of Gettysburg, but sadly not enough to be able to defend against the University of Hartford uh, well enough. Uh, and that's going to be University of Hartford taking Paraiso uh, and evening it up. And that is going to be us securing the push map. Let's Very go. Very excited for this caster as I love me some push. Can't wait to see it again. And uh, we'll be heading here into Escort, right? Uh, Escort, I believe, is map number three. Um, I only know this because during our first three matches, we had the consistent <laughs> rotation of, uh, I believe it was Li Zhang followed by King's Row, followed by... Uh, Dorado? Uh, no, no Route 66. Junker, Jun uh, Junkertown was our first. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what was played at the beginning. Um, and we got to see Nift and Become Base pulling out the Widow and the Hanzo. Um, I would love to see more Nift on that Widow. We know like, he's able to just hit those headshots and just make those highlight reels. Um, yeah, and oh although... man, that, that might be your first round draft pick, but I'm going to be taking Become based on the Hanzo there, because in that situation, we see not only Nift on his one of his favorite characters, but Tomoy Become based on one of his as well, as his, uh, his Hanzo, quite simply insane. His logs are simply bigger. Uh, but that's going to be unlikely, as it looks like we're going to be going over to Dorado rather than the Junker Town. Still possible, though. We could see some sniping action here. Absolutely. And uh, the map is queued up. Dorado, ready to go. Um, and, you know, what do you, what do you think we're going to be looking at? I hope Super Vader doesn't lock the Winston. That's what they pick uh, pretty traditionally. But... Uh, his diva has just been getting so much more success. I hope they decide just to lean into that. Um, similarly, I hope the uh, become based keeps leaning on the Genji. Uh, and honestly, Nift, he pulled out the Echo during the most recent match. Uh, oh no no no! We don't we don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, 
not only is that a trade secret, but I wouldn't be too bothered by the fact that it's a trade secret. Instead, I would be bothered by the fact that what he did on Echo was simply a war crime. I think that if that's shown in public, he could definitely be easily sent to The Hague, the International War Tribunal, uh, because him on Echo is, pff, that is crimes against humanity right there. Uh, I definitely hate to see it, and I think that Gettysburg would too. Though it would secure victory, what is securing victory when you lose your soul in the process by selling it to the devil? Uh, and that's what would happen if Nift went back on that echo. It's it's truly like an addictive drug. You know, aside from your side tangent, yeah. you ever just look at how beautiful Dorado is? Dude, Overwatch 2, I think, like, I, I shitted a little bit on the lighting, the whole fact that they were emphasizing the fact that the new game code... Uh, that they were going to be utilizing for Overwatch 2 was going to just have nicer lighting and dynamic environments and snowstorms and whatnot. I'm actually messing with it a lot. I All think right. that this is really, really beautiful. Now we see how beautiful this is. What is that? Pyramid. I big triangle. Big big, big triangle. Big triangle. Now back into the game. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we are seeing Winston coming out by Super Vader. Um, you know, his Winston is solid, but I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I think D.Va is just in a stronger spot right now, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see um, him eventually swapping back over to the D.Va as the match goes on. Absolutely. Uh, but these drops off of high ground can be incredibly uh, potent. However, we are going to see a split, which is going to be very dangerous on the side of Gettysburg as the pick comes out immediately. Uh, they split. They sent their Orisa, I believe. No, not their Orisa. Sorry. Their monkey as well. Underneath and all the way to the left side, trying to stage for a dive, but uh, only able to find one. And that's rather late in the fight, which actually might be big for them, as the Anna is down on the side of University of Hartford, but traded for the other five members. Might be worth, might not, but that's going to be completely up to the flow and speed at which Gettysburg is going to play. And University of Hartford, as they do back off of that red building, very intelligent, a very good macro play from them, recognizing their deficits in the face of adversity. But it does give the opportunity for Gettysburg to dive stronger. Yeah, I think I think this was a good decision, ultimately, um, because they did not have that. Oh, Magic <laughs> Penguin taken out. Nothing he could do about that other than, uh, oh, well... Hiding from Nift. That's really your only option. But um, while this is a, a match that requires, you know, both teams keeling and shooting each other, the Ana can't just hide safely. Uh, and Nift will find you. Absolutely. Wasting the rail maybe as a slight celebration or maybe a misclick. But regardless, a little bit of flourish at the end is something that I will never scoff at. The University of Hartford is going to be a little bit a little bit weaker here. I do believe one of them is... Nope, never mind. I saw the Lucio flash for a second. That's going to be all five of them ready and sitting on high ground as they're going to retake red building. And that's going to be Super Vader sitting in his favorite spot, which might be a little bit more dangerous here as they do swap over from the Winston to the Diva. It's going to be a lot more difficult for him to get in and get out, but he does manage to succeed in at least one rotation. And especially as, uh, with the, uh, the Reaper playing a little more defensively in that situation, um, he was walking in straight into the... Ooh, the, tr I guess, quad shotgun, you could say, of uh, D.Va and Reaper together. Now Reaper yeah. forcing the objective, teleporting straight onto this uh, Genji of Become Based. Blade is online, Nano almost fully charged. And I hope I hope we get to see another powerful ultimate uh, combo between Become Based and Come Galaxy. Absolutely, oh! yeah. Ooh, he's going to go down immediately, though. Evister with a very well-placed right-click. Straight into the dome of become base. However, traded out immediately for Magic Penguin when it comes on to the, the sorry, on the side of the Mercy, and that's going to be another pick onto the Baby Diva. Not able to get back in the mech fast enough. Evster incredibly low, but still managed to catch one. A second one. An incredible blade here on the side of Evster. He's going to try and finish off this Anna. Sadly, going over to Thobes on the side of the Kiriko. But that's going to be a very strong ultimate in a down fight on the side of Gettysburg. And that's going to secure them a point here, unless, of course, Become oh. Base, looking to touch, has the blade. This would be this a large is... mistake if they used it. But it's still contested, and it's oh, becoming and the more and more viable comes as out. the beat comes out. The blade! Kiriko teleports oh, away, but he was ready out. for it. But he finds her anyway! Reaper, only one. <laughs> and Ooh, they take that out, out, too. Genji now. Genji v Genji. The Mercy Pocket coming out. Blade, or sorry, Nano Boost just to try and secure but they don't realize Magic Penguin reses the Reaper who has the Death Blossom online. Oh, that and can be incredibly careless. He's at 9 HP! He can't do anything! Soldier knows he's there. He tries to keep being away, but he just goes straight into the wall. I don't think anybody's going to be threatening a C9 attempt. 
that was dangerously close. But uh, wow, that was an incredible retouch there. I'm sad I even like spoke down on it even for a second. I love the confidence coming out by Uhart. They had the decision saying, hey, but come base, you can get that touch, and Revan, you'll be there following up with the sound barrier to keep him alive. Absolutely, but the ult is a uh, disadvantage coming out here from the University of Hartford, as they are going to immediately face a Kiriko ult. However, the overclock does come out and only finds one, and that's going to be the follow-up Reaper ult inside of the Kiriko for extra speed and damage, uh, because they're firing the shotgun so fast, and that's going to be Gettysburg cleaning up that first point. Uh, and able to finish at, I believe, zero time. So it's only going to add 2 minutes and 30 onto the clock for Gettysburg. But that was a very strong retouch and then a very strong finish by Gettysburg simply due to their knowledge of their alt advantage in that situation. And it evens it up across the board. Yeah, and as you mentioned, looking at the alt situation, uh, Evster and Scott might be able to come up on their uh, their ultimates. Super Vader, really close to his own. Uh, and I want to see how Evster goes for this blade. Reaper teleporting into their back line right now. Just yeah, looking to just rain shots into them, but he gets forced into this teleporter really early. Anti comes out, Lucio follows up, and uh, Springy gets taken down before the fight really begins. Nift finds another one. Uh, well, they always have the opportunity to bring him back as that Mercy's gonna get in position and immediately res them. Oh, but Mercy not checking out for it, but gets two instead. Mercy and Genji both get taken down. Uh, Diva, I wanna see this deal. Oh, Nift oh. just decides just put one no in their head. No stagger and bossing say, sadly. Oh, oh. I didn't know that you could even come close to making that jump. Yep, well, uh, there's a there's a somewhat tricky tech with Sojourn, where uh, I think if you jump and then immediately do your slide and jump again, you can get a little more vertical height. Oh, I will be trying that out in your ranked games. Please watch out all of gold and east coast. Um, but that's going to be Blade coming out on the side of Gettysburg as they're going to be going in. The beat comes out on the side of Blackout on the side of uh, University of Hartford, sorry. Uh, a very strong counter to that ultimate there as a beat. Blade is online for the side of University of Hartford. But come base holding oh, it right now, but incredibly low in his brought down before he can use it. Come Galaxy wasn't able to go for the nano. He might be just looking to put a sleep dart into the face <laughs> of that Reaper. Reaper brought super low. Uh, Diva goes down first though, but she is going to have the bomb to be able to re-get in. Oh, it's Revan of all people gets taken one. out. Mercy now completely stranded, left out to dry. Um, this is still winnable, perhaps, if they uh, manage to find a pick onto this Genji. Brought super low, he still has the healing of the Kiriko. If Genji survives, they might be able to go with the Nano, um, if Ana can find line of sight on him. But yeah, he's looking for it, and it comes out. Oh, what is that dash? goes a little bit too far, oh, he's going to be contending with the really gets Genji that's nothing deflecting. with this ultimate. Nif now with his ultimate, Valk and uh, uh, Kitsune Rush coming out for the side of Gettysburg. Mercy taken down, uh, Kiriko taken down, Diva and Reaper. I believe all that remain uh, as Evster is nowhere near the fight. Diva last one remaining as Hartford manages to hold yet again. Fantastic work coming out by the side of University of Harford. And these retouches are really coming off of the back of the cum base on the side of the Genji, doing a very, very good job of knowing when to go in, when to commit to fights that may seem perilous to the outside observer. But not only once, but twice now on Dorado, they have been able to hold off and fend off of an entire point capture and more, point, more time added on the side of Gettysburg uh, College. And that's just really, really impressive game sense and knowledge. Uh, exciting to see the growth and the character development coming out on the side of University of Hartford's become base. Um, in the past, immediately using that blade when they go for the retouch. This time, waiting for the nano, waiting for teams to come back and swapping with them so that they can heal up a little bit before going back in. Those were definitely two highlights from this map and probably from the rest of this match because I was really excited to see it, especially personally knowing it. Uh, it's really awesome to see the patience and... Uh, resilience of the mind there to to pull off a pretty difficult macro play in the universe in <laughs> the video game of overwatch too wow stumbling over my words a little bit today yes you are but you know that's not uh that's not the end of the day we're just uh a fun unsponsored un uh you know unpaid zero uh we zero monies world. we went to korea team Gakam. so like stumbling over the words is totally fine until we get, you know, paid. Hey, if you want to sponsor us out there, uh, you know, we're always looking. <laughs>
Hello Fresh. <laughs> hello Fresh, you hear us? Hello Fresh, hello Fresh. Call us. <laughs> we'll now, say hello. Again, right. we see Winston, we see the exact same comp coming out on the side of Hartford, but we see an ironic hog pick. We see an unironic hog pick coming out on the side of Gettysburg as he's just blasting straight into a deflected Genji <laughs> as Nift puts a headshot into his dome. You can't do that in public. Don't blast yourself in public as the Genji is going <laughs> to get traded out immediately. Uh, the height of hubris is man, and especially these men casting this game uh, as Kevster's able to take out, become base. But Kevster's going to be uh, uh, anti here. Sorry. Kevster. This is not it's quite Kevster. This is great gameplay, but not quite uh, MVP candidate Kevster that we're watching right now. Although Absolutely. he brings them all work, though. incredibly low, and they find that final blow on become based on Nift. And now, what are we looking at for ultimates? Uh, Scott on the Roadhog still really struggling, only at 17, or sorry, 16% ult. Um, but Evster. He's at 75, and Magic Penguin at 70, looking at the Nanoblade combo. Yeah, that was a very strong fight by individuals on the side of Gettysburg College. Uh, and understandably so, they're going to have a higher alt charge here. But come base, finding it onto Springy, going down immediately, but it's going to be traded out by this hog. Uh, the hog, being unironic, uh, is actually useful. Uh, as Scott is going to find another pick on Revan, a hook onto the Anna, not able to finish, as Kambalgi is going to be able to convert that somehow does go down to Thobes on the side of the Moira. Nift still alive, he's still alive, and he's hitting headshots, he's oh, still dancing. Oh, he's at 6 HP, but that's plenty for this man to get to work. Oh, but he gets taken out by the, the Ana. turret! No, the turret killed him! Wait, but why? Oh, wait! Oh, Ana killed the super vid. Oh, that's crazy. And, and now gonna become be base gonna die to the- go. Oh, lord! A scary moment there for the University of Hartford, as they are not checking and killing these turrets as well as they have in the past. Lord have mercy, the Symmetra is going to be the death of me. Now, we're going to be looking at two Nanoblades coming online uh, for this next fight. I think whoever manages to strike first with this, and it's already... Oh, he dashes! Oh, wait! Oh, f is getting the teleporter? so much more with this blade. Although, what all got used? It seemed a uh, coalescence on top of the nanoblade on the side of Gettysburg, whereas Hartford only managed to pull out the nanoblade of their own. So Super Vader holding on to this primal range. Uh, I really would have expected them to switch off, uh, but you know the Winston uh, still going to work. Become based, getting aggressive right in the face of four. Uh, but you know he has no fear. He knows his team is there to back him up when they're ready. Yeah, and a great deflect onto the hook there once the Winston bubble goes down. That's going to be a very smart play there. And with the Primal, we're going to be playing rather aggressively, trying to chase down this Genji. Ebster does go down to the side of the Winston before he even manages the Primal. Juggling this Ana here. Needs to finish this kill, or at the very least, keep her out of the fight long enough for Become Base to find another onto Springy. The wall does come out on the side of uh, Gettysburg College here. But that's going to be all five down, and University of Hartford cruising with 30 seconds left on the clock into capping the first point, doing slightly better than Gettysburg. However, misspoken, as the Genji's going to be retouching again. However, not doing it like become based, largely because the rest of the team wasn't there to follow up and, and trade I'm expecting off a... Yeah, a swap to the D.Va. Uh, I've, I've been saying it for a while. I think the D.Va is going to be just a better option, especially with the Hog. Hog can really bully a... Uh... Yo, eat that damage orb. Oh, well, unfortunate. <laughs> Now this hawk completely on his own. What's going on right now? What? Wait, no. But he doesn't live. He doesn't. He... But he doesn't live. Wow. Though. Oh yeah, and he doesn't live though, and that's part. Okay. Uh, and Nift pulls out the overclock. He's running really low, and he gets taken so out low. by the Ana. Uh, I almost said again, but it wasn't the Ana last time. Um, <laughs> no, was, we did get a, a trick of the camera last time. The Genji's gonna be here and getting a nano on point. I thought he was just gonna uh, be stalling for a second. Oh, Instead, he gets slapped. Nano close, but gets slapped. Outstanding sleep. You know, uh, become based with a blade of his own. Takes out the Ana. Uh, I don't know if that's BM or just, you know, trying to secure those kills. Uh, is now we're looking at a blade. Uh, what are we looking at? A, uh, sorry, a blade of coalescence and a whole hog on the side of Gettysburg to a diva bomb and both support ults for the University of Hartford. And this is one fight territory. If Hartford Absolutely. wins this. Absolutely. Let's see what stagger like that. If Hartford wins this, we're going uh, just straight to map 3, and that was a massive anti-nade coming out by Combat. By Combalaxy. 
I'm expecting Nano Diva just charging straight in, trying to get all of these squishies killed. Oh, but these... The blade is in the back line and does find Combalaxy, taking a lot of damage and being slowed by multiple different angles here. Super Vader staying and opting to use the bomb there intelligently, but Combase is going to be able to find Springy after the blade goes down. Uh, and that Genji is nowhere to be seen, actually. I have no idea where they went, and they aren't able to touch as University Hartford does finish off that second point and all of Dorado, bringing it to a big dub and bringing them up 2-1 in this match against Gettysburg College. That was another fantastic match. Evster, Evster's been playing out of his mind. I believe, uh, did he get play of the game last map? I know he got it on the first one with the 4K as Sojourn. Uh, this was a great blade, but honestly, despite how cool that blade looked, uh, that was entirely thanks to his uh, Kiriko. Uh, the Kiriko came in with the uh, the cleanse orb, which uh, completely saved the life of the Genji, which allowed him to get one extra slash into his target, killing them, uh, and then finishing the rest of them off with the slash and a dash combo. Absolutely. Definitely a, an alpha threat to be recognizing on the side of Gettysburg College. Evs are doing a fantastic job overall. Uh, it's been really great seeing University of Hartford do better and better every single match and getting a higher and higher overall win-loss record. Because then we get to see them go up against other stellar talent inside of the Nace Star League. Very exciting to see. We get to cast some fantastic matches. Like you said, Dorado was an absolute giga banger. Can't wait to see it uploaded at youtube.com slash at Eric Culver. Yes, for some reason, YouTube has now included the ad symbol inside of their search result bar, meaning that you can go to https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash at Eric Culver and check out all of these streams re-uploaded days after they are occurring. Uh, and they do stream live here at twitch.tv slash Eric Culver every single Tuesday and Thursday. Today is Monday. It's actually Halloween. Don't tell anybody. We are wearing our costumes. But it is Monday only because we had a reschedule today. If you would like to find out about rescheduling, and if you want to watch these live, uh, due to the rescheduling, you can always check in at twitch.tv slash Eric Culver. Sorry, no, twitter.com slash Eric Culver. Or Discord. You can join the Discord by pressing exclamation point Discord and at twitch.tv slash Eric Culver's chat and being able to turn the Discord and see when streams are going live. Had to plug the channel a little bit. Absolutely. And uh, as you say it, Man, I really wish I'd been tweeting these out on uh, on Twitter more. But <laughs> end of the day, we're going on to Peter. What's the name of the map? Esperanca. Hmm. Hmm. That's not how Jaws says it. What? Does he actually say it differently? Yeah. There, there's how been you... this whole debate in the Overwatch League. Um, how do you actually pronounce it? Well, it's it's Portuguese, right? It's just Esperanca. And my understanding. Is that assuming... Interesting. What? I, I believe that the Athena lady just said it correctly. Yeah, and I believe that's not at all how you said it. I spranka. Yeah, it's not a ka, it's a za. It's a za? Yes. The zaza in Portugal? Esperanza. Esperanza? Yep. Interesting. I don't know Portuguese. Why would I know Portuguese? I don't know, but... You, uh, you, I don't know, you acted really confident with your answer there, and you were just wrong. That's absolutely fair, and you gotta hold those L's, understandably so, and, uh, hopefully we're not gonna be holding any more, as we will be once again onloading with University of Hartford against Gettysburg College, heading on to Esperanza. Uh, an incredibly beautiful map once again, as we get some beautiful cam work out of the operator here. OBS Air Culver doing a great job, really highlighting the beauty and detail put into this map. Um, and all of the other players on the side of University of Hartford, as well as Gettysburg, showing off all the beautiful detail put into each character. A lot of small flourishes and differences in playstyle. We get to see some really, really um, colossal titans of the Nace Star League here, duking it out uh, for this next match dub. And uh, we're going to be unlocking the bot here in about 20 seconds, as Gettysburg coming out on the Rhine here. I love this. I'm a uh, big fan of Reinhardt in general, um, although, I'll be honest, Reinhardt in the current meta can really struggle to a D.Va. All this really uh, relies on is D.Va taking the high ground and just blowing up the Reinhardt. Because uh, Reinhardt has no easy way of getting access to the high ground. Esther, though, we see uh, already charging up his railgun, but Nif takes out Magic Penguin of the Zenyatta, and that's 
might just be Doom. I'm not sure. As Nift getting really aggressive. Fster dying to the slow field. He's Wait, right on top. Oh, he's one shot to the... Oh! But come based. Coming in. Clutch. To keep his teammate alive. Is Nift gonna get healed up. Reinhardt, all that remains. Uh, I believe yeah. of Gettysburg. This caster getting a little bit confused by the positions of both teams there as they practically flip map there. Nift getting incredibly deep in the back line of Gettysburg. And then the Reinhardt and Reaper getting incredibly deep on the side of University of Hartford. Uh, however, University of Hartford uh, succeeding there. Uh, able to defeat the allegations of losing that first fight, that crucial fight on push uh, immediately. Uh, as they're going to round this first corner and uh, try and get those forward spawns activated, but not without a fight as uh, Gettysburg is going to be coming in aggressive here, denying cart progress. Reaper brought extremely low thanks to the ping of his teammates. Good coordination. Uh, Nift able to land the body shot and become based is just going crazy on this Reaper down here in the back line. Is he gonna... Oh, the Kirko! Oh! Oh, he has They're to reload! So low. They're so low! He's chilling so low. in a slow wheel. He's not able to find the follow-up he was looking for. Revan managed to take out the uh, Magic Penguin Zenyatta, and Hartford gets control of the first checkpoint. Is he just gonna go for a Blossom? Okay. I, uh, that would be a very Become-based thing to it do. It would be a very Become-based thing to do. But Nift, a very Nift thing to do is just pop his Overclock and find a headshot. And he does just that at the start of this fight. Body shot onto Evster, who has the overclock of his own. That's Arya is completely full flight. Oh, the is the Lord, Blossom base. three. Finds three with the Blossom. That, I was ready for it. I just wasn't ready for it, you know? I know, like, it was definitely one thing that was kept in the back of my mind, especially when it came to the positioning overall. That was a very well-recognized analysis by the University of Hartford and become base to just use that. And they'll have some backup when it came to the D.Va. I don't think that they actually ate anything, but it was still nice to see and have a friend in need. As uh, Epster's gonna kill Revan here uh, on this left side flank. University of Hartford staggering their progress a little bit as the bomb comes out, however. Potentially to able to find the Zenyatta oh, as Magic, Magic Penguin goes down. That's so tough to see. Magic Penguin, I remember at the beginning of the, uh, the match, he had a ton of success on the Kiriko. Now we see uh, Thobes being the Kiriko player on the side of Gettysburg. And um, he's... Uh, Magic Penguin on the Zen has struggled a lot in this uh, Esperanza map. Absolutely, as University Hartford was at an advantage. Oh, the entire where time, did Nift come from? On. He just came sliding straight into uh, Evster of the enemy team Sojourn and just rails a body shot. Uh, straight into their chest. That was <laughs> that was exciting to watch from their POV. Absolutely, as he's sliding over roofs, they think that he's Tom Cruise. Nift doing the absolute most there with that nano, and that was really, really cool to watch. As University of Hartford gets back to pushing here, 106 meters to 5 on the side of Gettysburg. Once again, uh, this University of Hartford team is doing a real, real solid job. Absolutely. And now, uh, a lot of ultimates on the side of uh, Gettysburg, sorry, where are we? Here we are. Uh, Thobes pulling out the ultimate, uh, the Kitsune Rush. Oh, and he just plasters uh, Super Vader, but Nift, oh wait, Nift got traded out during this ultimate. Um, and that seems like it's gonna be the end of the fight. Um, three people alive, or four people alive on the side of Gettysburg, three for Hartford. But they have the quick respawn, so they might be able to just opt into taking this 5v4 fight uh, early before, uh, who is that, Kiriko, I believe, the last person coming back from spawn. Yeah, and with it being such a large map and them not having forward spawns activated, they're not even going to be able to teleport fast enough. However, Evster does go onto the high ground and immediately finds one with the overclock. However, traded out with Nif's charge rail shot, equalizing here, as the Kiriko is going to be back very, rather soon, and University of Hartford needs to capitalize on this momentum. However, the trance does come out on the side of Magic Penguin. Gettysburg pushing aggressive with it, but not having a lot of damage follow-up. Ooh, and the Reaper goes down, but traded with the Lucille and the Anna, as University of Hartford is at a huge deficit right now. Oh! <gasps> Nift. Both was immediately taken out by Nift. Nift really just said, hey, what's up? This fight isn't over. Give me the nano and I'll turn it around. And that's exactly what happened. He got the nano, and I believe he took out three in the end. Fantastic work from Nift. I love the trust in your teammates just to give that man the nano boost and just trust that he'll, he'll get it done, and that's what happened.
Absolutely. As University of Hartford is going to opt to try and get the robot as far as forward as possible. Nift the one pushing it because they have the ability to just slide out whenever faced with a little bit of danger. And uh, they're going to take a little bit more of an opportunity here. A prolific oh, member Efster. of the team taken out, however, by their prolific member of the team, Evster, with the headshot. And he's got another church rail. Might just, yeah, places it. Oh, where are we? Become base takes out two with his ultimate. Uh, Revan pulls out the sound barrier. And, man, they managed to turn that fight around, even though we're at such a disadvantage at the beginning. And now we see Nift is back with the rest of the team. And it's a full, uh, wait, is anyone dead? Uh, yeah, it's a full five as we see Reaper over on the flank on the left of your screen. And a lot of ultimates online again for the side of the University of Hartford. Uh, I really am, uh, I'm feeling something spicy coming out from Nift with this overclock this time. Absolutely, as Azaria slept in the back line, that's going to be a headshot. Ooh, slightly missed, however, there's still going to be a what was follow up. That? <laughs> that's the headshot I was talking about, actually. As uh, University of Hartford is going to be pushing into this last corridor here, right outside of spawn doors. That Anna, very split away from the rest of their team, brought incredibly low and then a clean headshot to finish off. Absolutely writing the book on how to play Sojourn here. You Nift doing a great job of showing off their strengths and weaknesses. Esther, I believe that was a headshot. Esther has the overclock online, but he's not going to be able to get to use it as a nanode soldier and just comes sprinting at him. Revan here, just trying to boop them all off the payload. And uh, the bot just going to... Oh! Oh, nope. Nift was there. Spoke a little too soon, but maybe... Just a little bit of foresight as the University of Hartford does in fact clean it up. A dangerous position put in by the Reaper Blossom in the back line there. But uh, very well ate and healed off as the University of Hartford is able to finish it off 3-1 on Esperanza. And that's going to be another play of the game. Actually, I believe the first play of the game for the University of Hartford here. As they went up against a very impressive opponent today. Uh, Nift really doing the most when it came to this map. Uh, and team play being the real reason why University of Hartford is here at the victory screen. That was... <laughs> we see Evster giving a quick thanks to Nift. A uh, bit of dialogue back and forth. Oh. Oh, and the knowledge might be gained here. Uh, seems like there might have been friends across the aisles here. Uh, an incredible thing to see. Man. And it seems like this might actually be true. That's pretty awesome to see. Uh, remember, University of Hartford, a uh, great university to come and play Overwatch at. I lost the thread there. I was going to say Nift, a great human being, great friends with a lot of people, and knows a quite, amount, uh, quite a large amount in the community. But I'm floundering today and wasn't able to actually bring it out. Uh, however, I might be able to sing his praises a little bit better, depending on who we bring in to this post-game interview, uh, which I'm very excited to, uh, to be a part of. We got some uh, heat coming out in the chat by Alex Dial, Gettysburg, not chatting anymore. Although, honestly, I really loved seeing the uh, the heat coming out fry from uh, Burn Wolf. Uh, really fun to see the, uh, you know, the activity. Um, even Cody, Cody Bodhi won um, with the become based as a Nanoblade bot. You know, uh, if you watched in the last game, I believe you got a 4K just uh, <laughs> slash, or not slash dashing, just right click dashing through the entire team. But, uh, you know, maybe not his most uh, dominant performance today as he really was getting shut down by some of Gettysburg's players. GG! Absolutely, and I would like to highlight once again, Evster on the side of Gettysburg did a fantastic job, as well as um, Pingy, I believe, or Springy, uh, playing a little bit more of off-meta things, selecting to use the, uh, the Symmetra quite a lot. And it was very enjoyable GG! to watch. The Symmetra seemed to prove very viable when it came to using the Reinhardt in conjunction. Um, a very exciting match overall. A banger to be sure. Very enjoyable overall. And uh, I was happy to cast it. Very, very happy to cast it. That was uh, another one for the books as University of Hartford does go 7-0 so far in Nace Star League. Uh, and there should be another match at the end of this week. Uh, I honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I've heard, I believe I heard that this might be their last match, which, you know, confuses me. Uh, seeing as it was like original scheduled for a Tuesday, you would think there would be like an even number of matches. But um, I, I'm gonna have to check in with uh, Nift and Lucky and uh, Super Vader on the uh, 
for Hartford's, you know, leadership to find out if they actually have an upcoming match or not.